Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a subscription website on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once you're on your Shopify admin page, you want to go over to the left hand menu option and from there you're going to select settings. After selecting settings from the left hand menu option right here, I want you to select apps and sales channels. After you have selected apps and sales channels, you are going to tap on Shopify App Store in the top right hand corner. And this is going to redirect you to the App Store. And in the search bar, I want you to type in subscription. After typing in subscription, you are going to tap on enter. And then from here, you can see numerous apps that you can use to set up subscription on your Shopify store. But the one that I would recommend you use is Obstacle. As you can see, it is completely free and it also has very good ratings. So all you'll have to do is tap on Add App. And by the way, you can see the different plans. By scrolling down, you can see the different pricing plan. So you can see that it is free to install. And with the free plan, you get subscription creation and management, pay as you go and prepaid plans and also present delivery dates, unlimited emails, payment and retry analytics and 24 seven support. And if you would like to go up to the paid plan, they have paid plans for $10 per month, $30 per month or $100 per month. But you can go through the details afterward. All you'll have to do now is tap on add app. After selecting Add App, you will be redirected on this page. And from here in the top right hand corner, you are going to see the option Install App. You are going to tap on that. Once you have installed the app, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And you can see this is the obstacle dashboard. All you have to do is scroll down and right where you see free, you are going to tap on activate. After you have selected activate, you'll be redirected to here and you're going to simply close out of this as I'll be showing you step by step how to set it up. So you can see right here, this is the dashboard and you can pay attention to the left hand menu option. You can see the dashboard analytics, customers, and subscriptions. And the first thing that we are going to be setting up is the subscription plans. So you want to tap on subscription plans right here. After selecting subscription plans, you can see welcome to subscription plan. This page will give you a quick drive through of all of the current available subscription plans in your store. And you are going to tap on create subscription plan in the top right hand corner. After doing that, you're going to scroll down and from here, you're going to select the products that you would like to add on a subscription plan. So if you don't have any products added as yet, you're going to go over to the top left hand menu option and right where you see products, you can simply right click. After right clicking, you'll be redirected to the product page. And if you would like to add a product, all you have to do is tap on add product product. All you'll have to do from here, you can add the title and you'll be able to add the description and you can also add an image if you want. And by the way, you can scroll down and you can set up where the inventory will be stored and all of that. And if, if it is a digital product that you're selling, you will simply tap on digital product or service. So if you are selling a digital product or service, you can select it right there. And you also have apps that you can use if you are trying to sell, for example, any form of drop shipping or so on. You have apps that you can download that you can use to do that. But let's go back into the app. Once you have done that, all you'll do now is simply type in the plan name. So for example, test. Then I'm going to tap on select products. After tapping on select products, I will select this product right here. Then I'm going to scroll down and again, you can see the different products, all of the products that are on my Shopify store. You can see them right here. 
as you can see here let me select the projector instead so I'll scroll down and I'm going to select this projector then I'll simply scroll down and from here all I'll have to do is tap on add after tapping on add and by the way you can select multiple products you can scroll down and you can see add order frequency option right here if you want so you can tap on that then you can select the frequency plan so you could type in the plan name you can give the plan name for example you can see test then the plan type you can see three different plan type you can see pay as you go prepaid one time and prepaid auto renew pay as you, pay as you go would mean that the person will automatically receive the subscription and you will automatically deduct the money from their credit card or so on without them having to do anything. Prepaid one time would mean that this is a one time subscription offer and prepaid auto renew would mean that they would have to automatically renew it. They would have to select auto renew. But pay as you go, you can select pay as you go right there. Then you can see frequency plan description and from there you can type in the description and you can see auto order frequency and from here you can select the auto frequency so let's say for example you want the auto frequency to be one or two you can select that so every two days or if you would like it to be every month you can select every month or you can select every week so let's say for example every two weeks then you'll see offer discount for subscription you can also offer discount as this will help persons or better yet intrigue persons to want to subscribe even more so let's say they get a five percent off or if you would like to offer cash off you can simply tap right where you see percent off and you could select amount off if you want and after you have done this you can scroll down and you can see show advanced settings right here and you can see the advanced settings but for that you would have to be on a paid plan once you are finished all you'll have to do is tap on save once on this page it is very important that you tap right where you see click here to activate embedded block after doing that it is going to redirect you to this page right here and then you're going to see the option to activate it. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And you can see right here, we'll simply toggle this on right beside obstacle subscriptions. Then you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Now that you have activated it, all you'll have to do now, you could simply go into products and you can now see how it looks. So let me go over to the left hand menu option. I can tap on products and remember I had set it up on this right here, which is the projector. So all I would have to do is tap on preview on online store. After I've selected that, you can see the projector page right here. And if I should scroll down, you should see the subscription offers and you can see them right here. So you have the one time purchase would be the main price right there. And if they want to subscribe, they could simply tap on subscribe and save. And you can see the subscription price right there. Remember for the subscription, I had offered a 5% discount. As you can see, the discount applied right here. So that's why the price is a bit more affordable.